All right, y'all, I got something here for y'all guys and gals that plan on doing some going out of state or uh, doing a little traveling or something. You got to have something to eat, you know. I got something here that's got a pretty good story behind it. Uh, I met this guy, Paul Murray, at the Dalton Mo Hunter Show back this summer. And I, I, like I said, before, before the show started, I was walking down, just sort of looking around uh, the aisles and... The guy said, hey, Jeremy, come here. He said, I got, I got, I, got, I want to tell you something. And I got listening to him, and he had a story. Uh, let me tell you, let, I videoed him. Let me let him tell his story here. All right, y'all. We got Paul from Mammoos. Mammoos Camp Kitchen. Yeah, okay. That's, that's a Cajun name, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, what do you got here? Um, we've got freeze-dried meals. Uh, we've got... Um, Chicken and sausage jambalaya. We've got a whole plethora of different meals. Okay. All of them with a Louisiana flair. Um, okay. And um, I got a story about it if you want to hear it. Well, that's what we want. Let's, let's hear about it. All right. Um, I've hunted all my life. And um, when my kids came along and began to grow up, we lost our lease over Mississippi. And so I kind of just gave up on hunting. Uh, so my kids got grown. I was like, you know, I, I want to get back into hunting again. And so. Uh, I didn't have a lease and so I didn't even know about the possibility of public land hunting. So I uh, got to watching y'all's channel on, on uh, YouTube uh -huh. and I was like dang I can do that. So I, I put in for a tag in Kansas, got drawn in Kansas and I went out there and I took a bunch of uh, big box store freeze dried meals with me. Uh -huh. And um, they were okay, they just wasn't real good. The flavor wasn't there. I was like, you know, I can do better than that. I've got a catering business. I've got a, a gourmet frozen okay. food line. So you know food then. I you know, know food. supposed to taste like. I know what it's supposed to taste like. I, like. <laughs> I said, I, I can do better than that. So okay. I came back, bought a freeze dry machine and began to adapt my, my casseroles Okay. to freeze dry and okay. so so, you know, so you know, it's sort of played into all this right here huh it did and it's really taken off really doing good and it's, it's your first year though this is our first year. we started in january with this okay. and uh it's it's done well and uh, i appreciate what you guys do because if it hadn't been for y'all's channel i never would have uh, i never would have ventured we, out and, and, and tried this. public land hunting well so that's what hey, that's one thing about our channel y'all we try helping people and i really like this story here of how he his idea and come up with a idea here uh, to do this so y'all any of you you go backpack hunting or out west or like you said out of state hunt man this is ideal it's yeah. lightweight it oh, is that's you, had, you had a cup and a fourth of boiling water and it tastes just like it came out of the oven okay what does it take a couple minutes or so to uh, soak up good you let it 10 minutes okay you 10 minutes back up and let it sit for 10, 10 minutes, minutes okay. and it, it's just like it came out of the oven okay all right. Um, Where can they find you at? You got a website? Uh, we got a website. It's mammoothscampkitchen.com. Okay. And y'all located in? Farmerville, Louisiana. Okay. Uh, we're between Monroe and Ruston, uh, right off of I-20. Okay. So you're Louisiana guy. Yeah. All right. Hey. Y'all, any of y'all need any of this stuff, you got a link right there. You can find it. All right. Thank you, man. Okay. Appreciate y'all yep. stopping by. Yep. Y'all, that made me feel good. Oh, like I said, we have a lot of people come up and say, man, you got us out of our comfort zone. Uh, done my first out of state hunt. I really loved it. But y'all, this is probably the first one that has said they started a business because of going out of state. Uh, and he, he, you know, the food he brought with him didn't have a good flavor, and him being a chef, he like, I, I, I'm gonna make my own. And y'all, like I said, he sent us some. Uh, I hadn't really said much about it because I wanted to try it first. Because I've never been a big freeze-dried food. You know, I ain't never eat all a whole lot in my life. But I, I took some out west years ago. It was all right. I just, it wouldn't, I just didn't really, it wasn't my favorite. But y'all, this stuff here is different. Uh, he's got the, the flavor to it. Got a lot of meat in it. Uh, and it won't tear your stomach up. Like a lot of it will. Uh, but that being said, like I said, when I went to Wyoming, and when I packed in them four nights, or four days, three nights, and like I said, just eat around the car there, uh, beat having to ride an hour or two to town to get something to eat. But yo, I got eating this stuff, and man, it is super, super good. He's got several different packs. It's like King Ranch Chicken. Yo, to me, when I seen that, like I said, I'm a very ticky eater. Very ticky eater. <laughs> I'm a meat and potato guy. Uh, 
I know Daniel, we got some, and Daniel tried, and he said, man, that stuff's good. He said, you're not going to like it. It's got a lot of stuff in it. But y'all, that ch King Chicken Ranch, that was the best chicken noodle soup to me. It's like homemade chicken noodle soup. Uh, chicken and sausage jambalaya. Now, this stuff here was full of meat. Uh, full of chicken and, 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 and sausage. It was super good. Uh, the beef and gelato. You know, that was, to me was more like a chili. Uh, wasn't, wasn't super hot, uh, but it had a flavor to it. It had a mildness to it. But that, man, that stuff hit the spot. Uh, like I said, the blend of the bayou is more of, it's got shrimp. It's got crab. It's good. I'm not a big crab eater. I love shrimp. So, then the chicken, cheesy chicken spaghetti. If you like chicken spaghetti, yeah, it's good. It's good. Oh. Uh, Base where I'm showing you this here, I got a promo code that I want to help y'all out just a little bit. Let y'all try this stuff. Uh, man, like these disasters and stuff, it, it might not hurt to have a little bit, you know, stockpiled back just to have for a safeguard. Because this stuff freeze dried, it's got a long shelf life on it, y'all. So check this out, especially going on these out of state hunts and stuff. Uh, y'all have really watched what I've eaten the last year and a half. Uh, Lost 10 to 15 pounds, man, feel way better. Uh, got a lot more energy. And y'all, this stuff here is good for you. Uh, it's, it's pretty much the same price, roughly, as a fast food meal. Uh, at 12 to bucks or so, and that's, that's basically about what it, it, it costs to, to get a meal now. You know, hamburger and french fries. At, at McDonald's, it's pretty much, you get a quarter pounder with cheese, French fries, a, a large fry, a large drink. You're going to be right in there. And this right here to me, y'all, is way better for you. And it's going to fill you up. Uh, so, I just want to bring this to you. Because, like I said, I like it. And, like I said, if I like it, I'm pretty sure y'all will too. So, hey, check it out. Check it out. Help Mr. Paul out. Uh, because, it, you know, he's just getting started out on, on this side of it. The only place you can get it is online. Let's go to that Mammoose kitchen.com i have it all in the in the description on the channel here so just go to it and use the promo code and get 10 percent off so i think you'll like it